Right now, be prepared for our first comic, Miss Megan Marks! How you guys doing? Great! Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out tonight. Um, I am very excited to be here, and uh, I am also nervous as shit. I am. Um, I, I've only done stand-up a few times, so uh, I like to tell people that right away because if you see my hands start shaking or I start talking really fast, um, please just know that it's just because, like I said, I, I am really, really coked out of my mind right now. <laughs> Speaking of role models, um, I have recently designated myself as the uh, official role model of how to deal with stupid people in the workplace. Uh, I feel like every job I've ever had, I've always had that, that one person, that one person that I have wanted to kick in the teeth for being so stupid. It's horrible. Uh, my first experience with this was when I was in high school, and I worked at a Supercuts, aka Stupid Cuts, and uh, it was bad. I, I didn't cut hair. I had the more dignified position of sweeping up people's nasty ass hair off the floor, and then uh, escorting them up to the counter and convincing them that they should pay me for their shitty ass haircut. So uh, one day, one Saturday, it was like really packed out, you know, like everybody's in there to get their bad haircut. And uh, <clears throat> this guy comes in, and he's like, I need a haircut. And I'm like, okay, what's your name? And he says, my name is Jesus. And I said, okay. So I wrote his name down and told him to have a seat. Now, to avoid confusion, I purposely put the little accent mark over his name so that it was clear that this guy's name is Jesus, okay? So after a while, the queen of the idiot stylist comes up from the back to take on her next victim. And she picks up the ticket and she yells out, um, Jesus, Jesus. And now everyone in the lobby is like freaking out. They're all like looking around for Jesus. And uh, I hear these two ladies talking. The one lady's like, did she just say Jesus? Jesus gets his hair cut as super cuts? You know what? I thought that guy looked familiar at the Birkenstock store. Who knew? So to make it worse, she yells it out for a third time. And she says, Jesus. And, and that's when I, I lost my mind. I lost my mind and I went batshit crazy. And I turned to her and I said, yes. Yes, Stephanie. Jesus needs a haircut. By the way, Santa Claus has requested you for a beard trim, and the Easter Bunny needs a tail wax. Hope you have time. Hope you have time. It's, it's Jesus, bitch! Horrible. Horrible. But um, to be fair, like, I, you know, I'm not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes, too. Like, I get lost all the time. Um, I'm horrible about getting lost. I could literally have an iPhone, a GPS, a map, a compass, a tour guide all strapped to my body and I would still find a way to get lost. So uh, the worst of this was the time that I went to San Francisco to visit my friend. And uh, we're having a great time, but unfortunately she worked during the day. And so she was like, oh, you know, you should go see the Golden Gate Bridge. It's, it's like 20 minutes from my house. And I said, okay, I'll go see the Golden Gate Bridge. So she gave me really good directions to the bus stop and I've never ridden the city bus before, but by pure luck, I got there. Now, getting home was a completely uh, shit show. That, that was completely different. So uh, I went there and, uh, you know, saw, saw the Golden Gate Bridge, took some pictures, saw Alcatraz, contemplated killing myself, and then decided I wanted to live and got on the bus. And uh, so I'm on the bus and I, I start to notice some things. And so I'm like, oh, that's cool. There's a leaderboard. It's just like the light rail. I'm sure, like, a sexy little voice is going to come on and be like, Megan Miles, this is your stop. Please get off the bus. That, that did not happen. That did not happen. And uh, also, I thought that brakes stop a bus. That's what I thought. I didn't know that some tiny bobo-ass piece of string that's the size of dental floss is what stops a bus. You know, I didn't know this. And so I see all these people like pulling on it, and I'm like, 
Oh my god, that is like such an unsafe oh shit handle. So weird, I just don't get it. And so I'm still riding along and like 20 minutes goes by, 30 minutes goes by, and like after a while, like I've been on this bus for like 45 fucking minutes. Like I'm still on this bus. And I ended up getting like a full tour of San Francisco. While I was on this bus, the Giants won the World Series. And gay people are flashing me. Uh, Uncle Ben's like handing out free packets of rice and and I, I knew it was bad when we got to Fisherman's Wharf because I saw this little baby seal and I looked over and the seal was holding up this sign that said, bitch, you are lost. You need to get off that bus. <laughs> but uh, eventually I did, I did make it off the bus and I'm proud to say that I have never taken public transportation ever again. Don't care, don't care to ever do that because that just wasn't fun for me. Uh, but at this point, you know, I know what you guys are thinking. This girl is definitely going to start rapping. <laughs> well, I, uh, I am not, uh, I, I'm not going to disappoint you because uh, I may be a, a white cracker, but I am also a pretty dope rapper. So uh, they're gonna they're gonna help me beatbox here. So I didn't I didn't pre-write anything. I'm just gonna freestyle it. So if you guys can just yell out a word, I'll just take that and go with it. Whoa. I heard balloon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Gonna talk about balloon. Balloon's what you see when you go 